This is Cutting with Novacut 1204. So we're going to go ahead and open Novacut. And the first thing we're going to do is create a project. If you click on Clips, you'll see the D Media project we just created during the D Media demo. Um, so this is all the videos we imported. If you click, um, and then you can use the arrow keys to scroll through them. Um, the left and right arrow keys. If you do shift right arrow goes to the last clip, shift left arrow goes to the first clip. Um, now if you click and drag down, it'll create what we call a slice. And a slice is from um, you know, some starting frame to some ending frames. So this is the in and out points. Um, this purple area is what we call the doodle, which I'll get back to in a second. Um, and you also can click and drag a slice all the way down here into this area down here is what we call the sequence. If you hover your mouse over the starting or ending frame and roll your mouse wheel, you can make super fast frame accurate um, adjustments to the starting or ending frame. Um, and you can move stuff back and forth between the doodle and the sequence at any time. And the idea for this is it's a really plastic, non-destructive way to stage your ideas and play, basically. Um, so say you had, uh, you know, two slightly different um, slices. And you want to kind of see what your sequence looks like with one, and then say, oh, let's see what it looks like with, with the other. Um, so I'm going to put a few more. Let's see, some more clips I like a lot. That one down there. That one. So now I'm going to click on the Love Orb and click Render. And it's going to render in the background while I continue with the tutorial. So when you render, um, you can continue to edit, and it won't change what's being rendered. There, you know, the render was a snapshot at that moment, um, but in the background of the render, and you know, a huge design priority for us is getting out of your way. Um, we want to eliminate the babysitting that you know wastes so much time, and you know, more, more importantly, it distracts you and it costs you creativity, really. So, if you double click on a clip to open what we call our rough cut UI. So I'm just hovering my mouse over this and as you hover it allows you to preview the starting frame or the endpoint. Um, when I click it picks the endpoint and now as I drag it's previewing the out point. You can go backwards and you know, it does something that makes sense. Um, and then when you release that picks the out point. So um, hover, click, drag, release is the, the very fast rough cutting workflow. Um, after you have a slice in the rough cut editor, you can then click anywhere to make adjustments. So notice I, I can just go anywhere and click. I don't have to grab, say, the little handle at the end. Um, so it's, it looks a bit like a scroll bar, but it, it works quite a bit differently. Um, or you can click and drag. Um, I will make a, a few slices of this. Um, and now when you click done, it puts all those in a little pile. Um, put some more, make it more colorful, just because um, something else is if you hover over the starting and ending frame and hold shift as your mouse will, it is step in 10 frame increments now. So it's a way to, you know, be a little quicker in your changes, but it still gives you that very solid kerchunk. Um, there's not ambiguity in terms of the amount you're changing it. Um, ah, and you can see as we're just doing that, the render completed. So to find the rendered file, there should now be a Novacut folder in. Um, 
your home folder, and there'll be a link in there, the timestamp, and this link points to the rendered file, which is actually stored in Demedia. Um, so, you can play this. Um, the shortcut here is, is kind of a stopgap. I mean, we're going to do something more elegant with better integration with Demedia, but the reason they use Demedia for all this stuff is um, that way Demedia can take care of stale files or um, cache files, proxy files, all, all this kind of file management stuff we want to just go away. And that's why Novica is so tightly coupled to Demedia. Um, so yeah, there's our render. Um, the render seems quite reliable so far if you have a Canon HDSLR. Um, the one exception is we currently have some issues if you have mixed frame rates in your clips, but if they're all one frame rates, uh, if they're all one frame rate, we've done you know, very long renders and haven't had a problem. There's no audio support yet though, so keep that in mind. Anyway, I'll go back to this. Um, so if you hit the space bar, it will start um, playback. And it's kind of long and boring, but that's all right. Well, and, and now as it plays, it will select the sequence or just it'll select the slice so you can see you know where your playback is. Um, Something we think is very important is making changes as you're doing the playback. Because so often you, know, you watch it, you're trying to get the pacing right, it's a little bit off, you make an adjustment, you want to see it again. So if you hover over um, the starting or ending frame and roll your mouse wheel, it'll pause the playback, and then when there's a bit of a break in your adjusting, it will resume playback on that slice. So this isn't actually a very representative clip, but I could tweak it a little bit, see it again, tweak it a little bit, and all I'm doing is rolling the mouse. Um, so tighten all these up a little bit because they're all too long. Um, something else you can do is reorder. And after reorder, it will just resume playback. So I must have paused it there. So I can you know, reorder. Always resumes playback on the selected slice. And also notice it as soon as I click, it pauses because you know our assumption is you want to do something, and so you know you were looking at a context that made you decide you want to do something, and we want to freeze that context so you don't lose track of what you're doing. You can even drag into the doodle. Or maybe I didn't want to do that. That's pretty cool, huh? Or if I did want to drag into the doodle. Pops up there. Um, you also can use the arrow keys down here. So that's right arrow, left arrow, and then similar to the clips, um, shift right arrow goes to the last, shift left arrow goes to the first. Um, yeah, and that's a pretty good tour of our cutting workflow as it stands. Um, it, by the way, so this down here we call our storyboard view, and there's going to be two ways you can view the sequence. Um, storyboard view or a timeline view, and the timeline view will be a you know fairly traditional time proportional way of seeing the same sequence, um, and that's really where you'll do audio work. Um, but you can switch back and forth between either view depending on what's fastest for your workflow. So this is Novacut 1204, and thanks for watching.